Hello and welcome everybody, what is going on? So we're here today to do a One Piece Manga Chapter 881 Live Reaction. Um, yeah, the first live reaction, well, first live reaction, like, three years that I've done. Uh, well, the first manga live reaction to One Piece, I should say, that I've done, like, three years. Back in the good old Toriko days, um... It's been a while, it's been a while, it's been a very long time since I last did a live reaction. And, you know, I did mention that I was going to do live reactions again uh, when I did the live reaction to the One Piece 20th anniversary. Now this chapter is called Chapter 881, Room of Ways. And for obvious reasons, I can't show the chapter. You know, it's a very, it's a brand new chapter. And, well, it will get shut down instantly, so... Yeah, um, oh, by the way, I'm reading this on Jamini's box, not Manga Stream. Uh, and a lot of people, you know, obviously massive fans of Manga Stream, me included. But I feel like ever since Jamini Sparks really started doing their lights, their um, scanlations, their you know their translation is much more accurate, and um, it's not as over the top as Manga Stream. Man and especially considering that Manga Stream, they still call Katakuri Dog Tooth. <sighs> to me, until they change that, until Manga Stream changed Katakuri. Well, so manga change change uh, dark teeth to katakuri. We got we gotta hop over to Jamini's box for now. <laughs> Just the way it is. So again, this chapter is called uh, "Room of Waves." And let's see how they get out. Of, let's see how they get out of the massive wave. Obviously, a lot of people are speculating Jimmy with his fishman karate to do something. Let, let's see. Let's just see. Let's just see. And obviously, the front cover, Tales of the Sails, proclaimed Straw Hat Grand Fleet, Volume Fifteen, Sayak, Don Sai, and Baby Five's wedding. Shut up. He is lucky. I'm sorry. I, I know he's obviously gonna get married to what's that one girl? Ooh, holy cow! Whatever her name was. Um. But he, he's lucky. <laughs> this guy is lucky. And Chin Zhao's drill is still, um, is still crooked. Insane. <laughs> Insane. People, yeah, people were looking down on Sai. There's actually this funny argument going on recently. I, I think, I, I'll just quickly mention it. Uh, between who would win it in a fight, Sai or Sanji. And, um, honestly, 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 I think it would be a great fight. I think it would be a great fight between them two. But regardless, going on to the next page. The next page, just a mini box front page. Um, and then page three. You're done for. What does that mean? What's happening? If he's ever, it's like, when has Luffy ever looked so bloody? When has he ever looked so bloody? The wave of despair. Hey, guys. <laughs> Wedding cake. <laughs> um... If we get caught in that wave, it'll be the end for us. Ew, that's right. We have the coop the burst. Use it. Use it. We can't use... Well, you can't use it. There isn't enough cop. What wasn't your job to stock it back up? What didn't you say that last two chapters ago? Apparently, there's not enough cola. Great. Pedro, I'm sorry. Even though you allowed us to get away alive. Wedding. Wait, 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 just wait just a second, mama. Won't the cake also sing? If I, thank you, thank you. The whole time, the last few chapters, right? I was wondering, uh, Perispero, if Big Mom destroys the straw hearts, right? If she destroys the straw hearts, she finds that there is no wedding cake. Remember what she told you? I will come after you if there was no wedding cake. So now you're finally worrying. Should have worried earlier, in my opinion, but better late than never, I guess. Um... Looks like the straws are trying to do something. Hurry, yes. And she says, obviously, I'm not cake high. What are you doing? Uh, okay. They're doing something to the sale. Um, is this all right, Jimmy? So, okay, so Jimmy is, yeah, well, it's too reckless to handle a ship's sail by himself. He's handling it by himself. Um, how, why? It, what's he going to do? What's he plan? What's he planning? I know Jimmy's planning something. Is there's no way he would just be like, yeah, you know what? yeah, that's the end. Cool story, bro. Nami, how's the wind? A strong wind is going to come from the obviously Nami. Obviously, no, no, the wind. What are you going to do, Jimmy? I'm going to tack this thing as fast as I can. Tacking is a sailing maneuver, but which a sailing vessel turns its bow towards the wind so that the direction from which the wind blows changes from one side to the other, allowing progress in the desired direction. 
Okay. Oh, uh, really? Does that work? Turns the spout towards the wind, so that the direction from which the wind blows changes from one side to the other, allowing progress in the desired direction. That's interesting. That's interesting. I jo Why to whirl around in circles? We're going to enter the green room. Are we doing acting? <laughs> Are we doing acting? Uh, okay. He's just sailing straight. He's just sailing into the. Ah, oh, Jimbei. 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 Remember all the people that are like, ah, oh, what's his role in the crew? What's his role in. I mean, we already saw him really be a helmsman like once, and that was on the way to. Um, that was on the way to Marine Fort. But, ah, no, oh, come on. Jimbei. So he's not actually using force. He is. Using skill, I guess. <laughs> uh, all the people are like, what is Jinbei's role on the team? Is he like a tactician? But that's already Sanji's role. The vice captain, that's Zara's role. What could Jinbei's role possibly be? Oda. Let's make my helps then. Works perfectly, which makes sense, you know. Which just makes sense. The only time we've really, well, we've seen him uh, maneuver the ship to Marineford. And he's somebody that lives in water, so it would make total sense, you know, that he would be an excellent helmsman. I see. This green room that you're talking about must be heaven. Doctor, I'll be heading over to your side. Oh, Chaka, come on. It's over. This is impossible. We aren't surfing, you know. Hold on tight to the ship. And the waves come crashing. You can, to all people, that, including me, to be fair, to all the people that were saying, um... Or that we're thinking that, you know, Big Mom was controlling Candy, which didn't really make sense considering why would she control, why, why, why would she put a homie, why would she make Candy into a homie? Um, this looks, there's definitely war. Now, you could definitely see a little speck of Candy on page six, or Jamini's books, by the way, at the bottom page. Um, you could definitely, bottom panel, you can definitely see the Candy that Big Mom is actually standing on, so it makes sense, you know, it's war. And, uh,. It's so pretty. Is this what the other side looks like? This is a good ship. The green room is found within the surging waves. It's a room of waves that can form for a brief... Okay. It's the perfect playground for fishmen. And you just see him just like... Right... Yeah. Okay. 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 Helmsman Jimbei. <laughs> Helmsman Jimbei. Nice. Inside the wave. And now Bing Man won't actually know that, sh that they're done for. That's the good thing as well. Inside the wave. We're going to break through it. Hold on tight. We have a good ship and a good navigator. With a good help. Ah, oh, come on, Jimmy. <laughs> With a good help, man. This ship will be invincible. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's a trolling a sleep ship like this. It's an extension. Like it's an extension of his own. He, he, he's a fish man. What do you expect? Like, literally. Like, what, what do you expect? What do you expect? To him, water is like land. I've never seen such a 3D land, I should say. Not just land, 3D. You could go up, down, left, right. I've never seen such a helmsman before. That's, how, that's his role now. That's his role. Which means to me that he's not going to die this arc. I know a lot of people were still speculating that he would probably die this arc. Yeah, to me, that he's now that he's got an actual role in the crew, he's not going to die this arc. I know he keeps saying, oh, I'm willing to lay my life down. And if I die, you know, that's just a question of if. not a qu That's just a question of when, not a question of if. Well, you're not going to die in this arc for me now, Shunbei. Unless, you know, that would be crazy if he were to die now. After Pedro. Well, we haven't seen a body yet. But after Pedro, Steph. We're not going to die. And he just makes it out. And I don't think... Yeah. 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 They got out and Big Mom doesn't know that they got out. Perfect. Perfect. Wedding. Coo -coo -coo. Ha ha ha. Oh well. Weakli serves, you ri serves you weaklings right. What is Big Mom going to do to... I mean, she did sink the ship. She didn't actually look if the cake was in the ship. But... Well, we'll see. We'll see. This is Pedro Spero. Hey, Katakuri. See, that's what I like. They call him Katakuri. Hey, Katakuri. We've taken care of everything over there. Hernami, Brooke, 
carrot. Oh dear, yeah. we're just about to invade the ship too. Everybody stop. Somehow it seems that the ship has already sunk into the sea. This is odd. Big says, how come we can't... Ah! Ah, you see? How come we can't see the depths of the sea on the other side of the mirror? Exactly. And now the mirror suddenly broke. The mirror suddenly cracked. Yeah. Yeah. Nami said, why did you break? Well, she was told to. Nami, don't you know that Luffy won't be able to come back through here, through there if you do that. Just listen to me. Break them all, every single mirror on the ship. But you want to get Luffy's way. Let me focus on him. Well, we'll see how you manage to focus on him alone. But to me, <sighs> let's move on. I'll say that at the end. Let me focus on him alone. These are the captain's orders. Hurry up. I, I, I'm sorry. I have to say this. Orders art has gotten so much better since the time skip. I know you know he's impro he's constantly improving, but his art. It's just got, like, for me, Fishman Island was probably the best drawn arc of his. But Whole Cake Island really is close to rivaling that right now. I think that's probably his second best drawn arc at this point. That phase of Nami just looks brilliant. I mean, the whole scenery has looked brilliant so far, so. Anyway. Look, the mirrors that led to this ship are breaking one after the other. What is going on? <laughs> Big sis, this could they be alive? How odd. Their ship sunk to the, so the mirrors must have cracked from the water pressure. No, nope, they could be alive. Hey, Luffy, I have something to tell you, so get away from the enemies. Perfect, perfect. I don't know. What, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what kind of curious thing. He's just standing there. He's just standing there, so I don't know whether. Yeah, okay, at the bottom left panel, he's actually aware of Luffy bringing away. Alright. Chopper, are you guys alright? Yes, yeah, Stray Straw is. Yeah, he's really awake. Everybody is safe, so that's all he needs to know, and now he can fight freely. Did something happen? That candy guy said that, this, that the sun is sunk. We thought we were going to sink too, but Jimmy was. Yeah, Jimmy was amazing. <laughs> Actually, honestly, I did not expect him to do something like that. Loose sand, we've broken all the mirrors on the sun. I see. Good job. With this, the enemies won't be able to come here, but you won't be able to come back either. That's right. I'll, it's fine. I'll find a way some... As if you can. You don't even have a plan. Listen carefully, Luffy. Sandra is currently making a cake on Kakao Island. We're going to head there too. At our fastest speed, we will make it there in 10 hours. 1 a.m. tonight. But that's... Sandra said 3 hours last time, and he said that he's gonna... They're gonna deliver the cake, I believe he said. And if they're going to deliver the cake, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Because the cake will be massive. So I don't think they could just deliver that on, on raving the carpet. So yeah, they probably need to ship. 10 hours. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Do you understand? After you beat him up. I'll see about that. Search for a mirror leading to Kakao Island. Let's meet there. And Mochi traps his foot. Mochi traps his foot. Luffy. And it looks like he's holding his mouth. Luffy's holding his mouth, I'm guessing, because he knows that he's about to be hit and he doesn't want to scream in, you know, in front of his teammates and what well, not teammates in front of his crew. And Kaikuri, you know, he kicks him, he's like, Yeah, let's score a goal. And the mirror cracks. What's Luffy doing? Why is he clenching his mouth like that? Like uh, he's clenching it like uh, like a trumpet almost. Am I missing something? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Anyway, the mirror broke. Okay, but why is Luffy clenching his? Let me go back a panel. So he's holding his mouth, which I'm guessing is because of the pain. I'm guessing maybe he wants to scream that much, but he. He's still got the mirror. He's still got the part of the mirror in his hand, though. So, obviously, he gets kicked by Katakuri. Luffy. Did something happen? And he just clenches it. And Katakuri just comes down with... Which looks like a four. <laughs> Luffy dodges. Good. But then, the additional Katakuri foot... You know, attack him. But Luffy's managing to dodge. And considering that Katakuri can actually see the future... That's pretty impressive. That's very impressive. Yanagi Mochi. Willow of Finn Mochi. It's a type of mochi in Japan. Okay. 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 But like that, Luffy is able to dodge it. Nice. But he's still holding his mouth. 
Did he have the mirror in his mouth? Oh, that makes sense. That make that well, that explains why he's bleeding so much out of his mouth in those panels. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Wow, <laughs> Luffy. I mean, the mirror broke. Still, Luffy. Well done. That's a really weird panel. One panel he's smiling. The other one he's just like, eh, like, like that looked like a face that he did. Uh, Gummy Gummy no Baka. <laughs> where you, yeah, where you fought against Enel. Eneru. Call it what you want. You guys, hurry up and come already. Hurry up and reach the island. I'm getting tired of waiting for you. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, see you later. And he destroys the mirror. Okay. Next. Uh, come on, Joseph. Next, you'll say, I don't plan on dying in a place like this. Do you really want those to be your last words? I don't plan on dying in a place like this. This is the willpower of a captain, of Captain Luffy. Alright, obviously we'll be on break, which was kind of expected because that was like the fourth or fifth chapter. So it was expected that we'll be on break after this chapter. Um, and it looks like Katakuru is making a trident out of mochi he's making a trident out of mochi i mean it was kind of weird considering obviously Kakuri, he is a trident user and i didn't actually see him you know grab his trident well well he didn't he had not yeah, a chance to grab it but he didn't have a trident on him when luffy dragged him into the mirror world so it was always to, to me it was always just a question of like why you know why does he not have a trident why is he in the mirror world it has not a tri and has not got a trident so uh, seeing to make a trident out of mochi means that you know he doesn't really need to have a trident by himself. He can just make one at any time, which is quite interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, let me just quickly talk about this fight, right? Because I feel like we've got everything out of the way now. We've got Sandy, him cooking out of the way now, and we have uh, the Nami part now out of the way because Big Mom isn't really suspecting me. You know, she thinks that they are dead. So does Perispero. Um, so, so honestly, uh, the only one left is Luffy at this point. So I think we've gotten rid of everything else and now we might see maybe a good fight. Now we might see, you know, the fight between Luffy and Katakuri, which I think many of us were hoping for just because obviously Katakuri, uh, he is, he is the first mate, essentially. Uh, well, we don't know about Struzen, but he is the first he is the first uh, commander. He's the first, uh, you know, sweet commander. <coughs> I'm just looking and just seeing how much help Luffy needed against Do Flamingo and how much help he needed against Cracker to even stand a chance. Um, it's just impressive. It, it, to me, him actually trying to fight Kat Curry is just very, very impressive. And I think Luffy's going to learn a lot from this fight. I personally don't think it's going to beat Kat Curry. I just can't see Luffy actually beat Kat Curry. Because that would mean that Smoothie is the only one left. And then a Smoothie and Big Mom, and ultimately that would be like, eh, we've already pretty much defeated you know, Big Mom's crew. So why not? You know, then it's just basically her and Smoothie left. And it's Drusen. And, you know, a lot of like smaller characters, you know, like Oven, Naifuku, who, Wild Strong, are not really sweet commanders. I don't just, I can't really see Luffy get a win here. But also can't see a real lose here. Uh, <coughs> Obviously, a lot of people were expecting you know, he's gonna use some sort of gear for speed form and get out of there. But the thing is, the thing is, right? Kaikuri can see the future. Luffy is screwed. Like, if you if you fight against someone that can see the future, what can you actually do? Speed doesn't matter. I mean, I think King of Lightning made a great video about this. You know, between like a fight between Kaikuri and Kizaru, I would go with Kaikuri as well because if you can see the future. I mean, Kat Curry, he needs a poker face. Let's be, let's be totally honest here. He needs a good poker face, which he ha he, he speaks a little bit too much. Let me just put it that way. He speaks a little bit too much. I mean, if I had the ability to see the future, I would speak a lot less because it obviously the way Kat Curry's power works. He sees the future, and then um, him interfering with it would potentially change that future. You know, or or if somebody, yeah, him in well, him being essentially the only person that can actually change it. So that's why when you know at the wedding party. Uh, when he saw the future, Capone saw in his face, in Katakuri's face, that he saw a terrible future, which which he, uh, which he just meant, you know what, let's go ahead with the plan. 
um, like for example, if he sees that A is gonna happen and he tries and make B happen, then he is changing the future. Um, which yeah, you know, in, in a fight, he needs to have an ultimate poker face. If he knows what's gonna happen, he needs to just act on the very last moment to really change it. In my opinion, um, but it's gonna be quite an interesting fight. It's gonna be quite an interesting fight, and it's gonna be quite. Me, it's going to be quite interesting development because right now, you know, we've seen a bit of Katakuri here and there. Luffy is obviously totally beat up, but we haven't really seen the be all end all of Katakuri. He is a trident. Luffy obviously needs to go into gear four, which I totally expect to see next week. I really, really, I, I think not next week. Sorry, ne next week is break in two weeks. Um, but yeah, it's going to be quite an interesting fight, in my opinion. It's going to be quite an interesting fight, and I'm just more so looking for. I don't. I don't think it's going to end up in a draw. All in total, honestly. I think it's going to end up in a draw where Luffy just barely manages to get away with Katakuri being quite comfortable, you know, quite comfortable in beating him. And um, it's going to be a lesson for Luffy, you know, I don't know, based on either his Devil Fruit, his Haki, or, you know, Awakening, which kind of constant into Devil Fruit, or just overall techniques. But it's going to be a lesson for Luffy, and um, it's going to be quite interesting to see what Katakuri is up to. The, Luffy's the, the, the guy with the biggest bounty that we've seen so far. So, regardless, 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 I will see you guys next week. This was my live reaction to One Piece Chapter 881. Until next time, peace out, everyone, and have a nice day.